Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating stories in modern military aviation, the F-35I, the Deer, Israel's customized version of the American F-35 Lightning II. This isn't just another stealth jet, it's a re-engineered beast that reflects Israel's unique defense philosophy, advanced electronic warfare capabilities, and decades of combat experience. The Adir takes the world's most advanced stealth fighter and transforms it into something truly one of a kind, beyond American design and perfectly tailored for Israel's needs. From the very beginning, Israel was not content with simply being a customer. When the US offered the F-35 to select allies, most nations received a, take it as it is, deal, a jet they could operate, but not modify. But Israel, known for pushing the limits of military technology, wanted more. The Israeli Air Force and defense industry insisted on customizing the aircraft's systems to suit their specific operational environment. That's how the F-35I, a deer, which means, mighty one, in Hebrew, came to life. It's not just an F-35, it's an Israeli integrated powerhouse designed for flexibility, independence, and dominance in the Middle Eastern theater. Israel's geography and constant state of alert have shaped its approach to defense. The Israeli Air Force often faces threats that are just minutes away, requiring fast response times, adaptability, and real-time intelligence. The F-35I had to be more than stealthy, it had to be intelligent, self-sufficient, and deeply connected to Israel's digital warfare ecosystem. Unlike other F-35 operators, Israel was given rare permission by the US to modify the aircraft's software and integrate its own weapons and electronic warfare systems. This made Israel the only country in the world to operate a version of the F-35 that's independently upgradable. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Adir is its electronic warfare suite. While the standard American F-35 has one of the most advanced EU systems ever built, Israel decided to enhance and customize it with its own technology. The Israeli-developed electronic warfare system is designed to detect, jam, and deceive enemy radars in the region systems that are often Russian-made and specifically adapted to counter Western aircraft. This gives the Adir a significant advantage, allowing it to operate even in dense anti-air environments like Syria, Lebanon, or Iran without needing American support or data. But what truly sets the Adir apart is its open architecture software. Unlike other nations that rely on the American Ali's logistics and mission data system, Israel operates its own unique command and control interface. This allows Israeli technicians and engineers to upload new mission parameters, integrate homegrown sensors, or adjust combat algorithms without waiting for U.S. approval. Essentially, Israel has full digital sovereignty over its stealth fleet, something no other country has achieved with the F-35 platform. Weapons integration is another area where Israel's creativity shines. The Adir can carry American missiles like the AIM-120 Amram and JDAMs, but Israel has also integrated its indigenous arsenal, including the Spice-guided bombs, Python-5 and Derby air-to-air missiles, and other classified munitions. This means the Adir can operate seamlessly with Israel's entire strike force, including legacy aircraft like the F-15I Ram and the F-16I Sufa. The combination allows Israel to launch deep strike missions with a mix of stealth, speed, and overwhelming firepower. Inside the cockpit, Israeli pilots benefit from unique software interfaces developed by the country's defense industry. These upgrades provide localized data in Hebrew, regional intelligence overlays, and specific target databases designed for Middle Eastern operational needs. The helmet-mounted display system, which already gives pilots an unparalleled 360-degree view, is enhanced by real-time feeds from Israel's intelligence networks and battlefield management systems. This means an Adir pilot sees not just what's around the aircraft, but also the digital battlefield as a whole. Israel's version of the F-35 is also designed for long-range independence. The Adir has been fitted with custom data links that connect it directly to Israel's command network, allowing for secure communication even when operating beyond borders. This is essential for missions that might reach deep into hostile territory. Reports suggest that Israel has even experimented with adding conformal fuel tanks or specialized drop tanks to extend the jet's range without compromising stealth, though these developments remain classified. 
One of the reasons Israel values such independence is its need to act swiftly, sometimes without external coordination. History has shown that Israel often conducts preemptive strikes or intelligence missions with minimal notice. Having a fighter that can be fully maintained, updated, and equipped domestically means no delays, no approvals, and no foreign dependency. This independence extends from mission planning to electronic upgrades, a luxury no other F-35 operator enjoys. The F-35I Adir has already seen combat, making Israel the first country in the world to use the F-35 in real battle. According to Israeli Air Force officials, the Adir has flown missions across the Middle East, striking strategic targets while remaining completely undetected. These operations demonstrated not just the jet's stealth, but also the seamless integration between Israeli technology and American engineering. It was a powerful statement to the world, Israel doesn't just buy technology, it redefines it. Maintenance and logistics have also been customized to suit Israeli needs. Instead of relying on the US-based Autonomic Logistics Information System, Israel developed its own version tailored for local control. This gives them the ability to perform upgrades, conduct deep maintenance, and manage flight data internally, keeping sensitive information out of foreign hands. It's a critical security feature in a region where electronic espionage and cyber threats are constant. Another interesting feature is how the Adir fits into Israel's multi-layered air defense strategy. The jet doesn't operate in isolation, it's part of a network that includes systems like Iron Dome, David's Sling, and Aero Interceptors. The F-35I can gather real-time information about incoming threats and feed it directly into Israel's Air Defense Command Center. This transforms the fighter from just a strike platform into a high-speed intelligence and coordination hub, connecting every layer of defense from the ground to space. The F-35I's role isn't limited to air superiority or bombing runs. It also serves as a stealthy reconnaissance asset. Equipped with advanced sensors and the ability to fly deep into enemy airspace undetected, the Adir can map radar systems, detect missile sites, and provide live updates to command centers. In a region filled with advanced Russian and Iranian radar systems, this stealth intelligence capability is priceless. Israel has also focused on future-proofing the Adir. The Israeli Air Force and defense companies like Elbit Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries are already working on upgrades that could enhance the aircraft's artificial intelligence capabilities, sensor fusion, and even new directed energy weapon integration in the coming years. These homegrown enhancements ensure that the Adir will stay at the cutting edge long after other nations' F-35s require American upgrades. The collaboration between Lockheed Martin and Israel has been both cooperative and cautious. The U.S. maintains strict control over the F-35's most sensitive systems, but Israel's deep defense ties and proven reliability have allowed it more freedom than any other partner nation. This balance of trust and innovation has created a model where American design meets Israeli ingenuity, producing one of the most advanced fighters in existence. Interestingly, Israel is already using the Adir to train the next generation of pilots in new ways. The aircraft's stealth, advanced sensors, and AI-driven cockpit require different thinking compared to older jets. Israeli instructors emphasize digital warfare tactics, multi-domain awareness, and data-driven decision-making. Pilots are not just flying, they're managing information dominance. This reflects the changing face of air combat in the 21st century. In terms of deterrence, the Adir adds a new dimension to Israel's military doctrine. Its stealth capabilities allow Israel to strike anywhere in the region without warning, effectively neutralizing enemy defenses before they can even respond. This ability to project power invisibly is a psychological advantage as much as a strategic one. Nations in the region know that if conflict escalates, Israel's stealth fleet could appear over their skies without a trace. The F-35I has also redefined Israel's relationships with its allies. Joint exercises with the US, Italy, and other F-35 operators have demonstrated how the Adir's unique systems can complement international missions. But even in coalition operations, Israel maintains control over its software and mission data. It's a clear reminder that while the Adir was born from American technology, it ultimately serves only one master, the Israeli Air Force. As for future variants, there's speculation that Israel could further evolve the Adir into a new platform altogether, possibly integrating drone wingmen or even indigenous engine upgrades. 
Israel's track record with aircraft like the Kafir and Levy shows that it has the technical capability to take foreign designs and transform them into something entirely new. The F-35I might be the foundation for Israel's next generation of stealth aircraft. In many ways, the Adir embodies Israel's broader defense philosophy, independence through innovation. Every component, from the radar to the helmet, reflects a mix of imported excellence and local genius. It's a symbol of how Israel takes even the world's best technology and makes it its own, ensuring that no foreign power can dictate how it defends itself. When you look at the F-35I Adir, you're not just seeing a stealth fighter, you're seeing a national statement. A message that Israel will never depend fully on anyone else for its security, no matter how advanced the system. The Adir is a fusion of trust and autonomy, a partnership with the US that still prioritizes Israeli control. In a world where technology defines military power, the F-35I Adir stands as proof that Israel continues to innovate beyond its size and geography. It's not the biggest air force in the world, but it's one of the smartest. The Adir ensures that when Israel flies into battle, it does so with a technological edge that few can match. So, when you hear the name, Adir, remember it's not just an aircraft designation, it's a symbol of how Israel reshaped one of America's most advanced fighters into a weapon perfectly tuned for its own defense. Beyond American design, beyond standard limitations, and beyond anything the Middle East has ever faced before. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this deep dive into Israel's F-35I Adir, make sure to subscribe for more incredible stories of military innovation and technology. See you in the next video.